It's a good time. Chef Nick is here, so you know we're having fun. Yes. You need to go see the manja. If you haven't been, you need to go. And you get the dance party going. Yeah. You get the but dance you know party what? going. That's fun, but the food's real good. Real good. The food's real good. As we love I, okay. I, I have to tell you, Tim threw that pizza with the um, candy can canes on it. He threw it in the garbage, and the garbage threw it up. It was that it's bad? The garbage you, it spit was it out. blasphemous to, it was blasphemy. to your it, it was to your abomination yeah, yeah, I'm of sorry. Italian food. <laughs> right, that's the thing. I feel bad. because We'll it's make like, up oh, for it though in our wine segment because sorry. we've got our fav your oh, favorite wine. Oh, we're drinking wine. Brunello. We're making meatballs here. You know, for the longest time I fought in the restaurant. I'm not going to make meatballs because they're so subjective. They don't taste like my mother's meatballs. My grandmother's were better. And you know what? We started making them. I have a, a wonderful Italian guy that came in and is working with me. For, happens to be from the same place my mom's family is from in Italy. Okay, okay. And he says, you should make a meatball. So now we make meatballs and it's like the number one selling thing. So I'm I'm through figuring out what people, what people want, want to eat and just give them what they give want. Give them people what they want. want. So this, this, looks this magical. I this love is it. how we do it in okay. the restaurant. We've got some, over here we do it with short rib in the restaurant, but this is just some chuck 80-20. Okay. You know, you want a lot of fat content in there because you don't want them to dry out. Got it. Okay. okay. So what we did a there. little earlier, I, I took some onions Thank and you. some garlic and I sauteed them. Do you have a nice favorite kind of onion? Do you do sweet onion? I just do sweet onion is great. Yeah. Okay. Whatever okay. yellow onion is available to you. Okay. So we got some of that, and then this is just some of our focaccia that we had soaking in oh. in some milk. Okay. Oh, see, I gonna, just do breadcrumbs. You I can do breadcrumbs. Like, you can you do breadcrumbs. But this great. is manja, so he's panko's kicking it up a notch. Panko's great. So we're gonna throw it. some of that in there. We squeeze out most of the liquid. Yes. And this is really what this is going to do. It's going to keep it from turning into a hamburger in Thank your sauce. You. And Thank you, you were talking about how you just made meatballs at home. First time this yeah. week. And, yes. and it can and it can be a little trying. Now we're going to throw an egg in there. Well, Thank you yeah. bring up a good point because if you don't have that kind of moisture content, yeah, yeah. it could just turn into Let's like. Let's go for a, two eggs. Thank you. I'm burger. enjoying this so much watching you, you really just work are, through that aren't stuff. You? It's fantastic. I like Fine. that you brought those serial killer gloves. Right. Yeah. I always have Dexter a box. Dexter ain't got nothing. Funny, on gloves. I have a little... box of those and a roll of duct tape in my car. Wow. It's crazy, Not weird crazy. Oh, I have bad never time, bad over. time. Okay. This is a, a, a mixture of Parmesan and Pecorino Romano. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna cheese it up there. Beautiful. Get some cheese in there. Keep mixing, yeah. baby. Okay. I'm mixing. You're rocking it. You're rocking it. I'm doing it. it. You are doing the best it. meatball mixer. Thank you. I'm gonna put a little pinch of crushed red, red pepper, pepper in there, okay. a little bit of salt, okay. and then this is some uh, fresh Italian parsley okay. and some basil that I chopped up ahead of time. Now you didn't do we that much that salt. Home. Is that the, the because the cheese? Because the cheese is salty. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, you, and what I do is when I make them, especially when I make them at home, my mom used to make them at home, she'd make like a little one, throw it in the pan, fry it, and taste it to make sure, just good. to make sure the salt was right in it, okay? Oh, so then, okay. You know, then okay, what tip. we're gonna do with our meatballs is we're gonna bake them in the oven. A lot of people fry them in the pan. You were right. talking about how sometimes people put them in raw. In the sauce. All of those are fine to do. I prefer it this way. I feel like the fat, a lot of the fat, you know, kind of comes off. Okay. Well, because and, you yeah, have this you can do them by hand, or you can do them like this. The, oh, well, yeah. you didn't know me whatever there was you call that. Because I really enjoy watching you, you do that. To watch so you put so them you do on that, the pan. So the grease goes, yeah, put them yeah. on like a little uh, a, a cooling rack. Yeah. Put them in a 500 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes. What you really want to do? 500 degrees. Yeah, you want to get up as high as you can because you want to get that nice crust on it. So what oh, the crust gotcha. does is it seals in all those juices, mm -hmm. and then you're going to drop them into your sauce and you're going to cook them into your sauce. And the cool so thing is, so you finish the cooking. You in finish the, the sauce. cooking in the sauce, and okay. this is this is basically what we would call in my house Sunday gravy. My Sunday mom would gravy. make this gravy, you know, sauce on Sundays, and there was meat in it. And so what we're going to start doing in the restaurant on Sundays, starting in January, is we're going to do Sunday supper, and I'm basically making a big pot of sauce with meatballs and sausage yes. and it's oh, going to be great and joy. it's going to be just like Sunday at your Italian grandma's house. So no we what? have these cooking the in the Italian sauce. Italian grandma I never had. The Italian right? grandma. Everybody's Italian when they come and eat. I'm so Sunday glad gravy. because you know what? I'm English and our food is rubbish. It's <laughs> so rubbish. So I'm glad that I have but an it, Italian it friend. It may be rubbish but it's not a pizza. Kelly is not digging cans. the Marmite. <laughs> <laughs> not digging the Marmite. Right. Right. Hit it with um, a little so bit this of is on the menu now. This is on the menu it's now. Such a big hit. Forever and ever. Amen. You can never I take it off. Okay, talk about the holidays. And holidays are great. New Year's Eve oh, is coming that. up. We're gonna have a big New Year's Eve celebration. Are you? I'm 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 DJing on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Ooh, I yes. don't even have turntables, have but I'm gonna DJ. stand there and go like this. Do you have a DJ name? Uh, uh, DJ. I don't know. You need to come up with one. I'm gonna come oh, up with goodness. a DJ name. DJ Meatball. We. That's it. 
That is DJ an amazing. Meatball. That's an amazing. No wonder it's staying on the menu. Thank DJ you. DJ Meatball. DJ Check Meatball. Him out. Yeah. Move that I'm rocking. So hey, listen. Yeah. Look at that I beautiful. know we had candy cane pizza earlier. Kelly, you're living your best life. You're doing great. Yeah. She is balling. But we do have Italian wine coming up next. <laughs> so like that? See how oh I my did goodness. That? Stick around. MangiaNashville.com. Check out Manja Craighead Street in Berry Hill. Stick around because.